TGIF. It's about to get even better with The Fuse. I'm your host, Lucky McCoy. Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. So you're gonna go it alone. Ready to make this game a right royal rumble, it's the Kings. You two families are taking each other on to guess the answers we've got to our survey questions. Find the most popular answers to clear the board and take the rounds. Whoever scores the most points gets to play Fast Money, where you can win $20,000. Surveys ready? Let's roll! Let's get things off with a good old face-off. All right. Give me two people. We have four to find on this one. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. 100 people. We asked them the following. If everyone obeyed the law, name something we would no longer need. You're first. What's your answer? Yep. And what did our survey say? Law enforcement. Wowee, number one. So what do you say? Pass or play? The opposition have given us a pass. Time to search your mind for an answer. Good. Good. Okay. Our survey says... Guns. It's there. Yes. Dig deep and think of an answer. Um... It's worth a shot. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Jail. Look Ooh. at that beautiful board. Almost full. Oh, yeah. If everyone obeyed the law, name something we would no longer need. Yeah. Understood. Did our survey say it? Court. Don't. It's not up there. So this is your first strike. Oops. Got another answer? Okay, then. Survey says... Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. It's up to you. Two strikes. Think you've got it? Uh... That's a good answer. Okay, sure. Let's see if that's a good answer. I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Ho -ho! Like my friend Al Capone used to say, our other family has a chance to steal. 
If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. If everyone obeyed the law, name something we would no longer need. Yes! Let's see what the survey says. Justice system. That's not what we're looking for. The points go to this family. Let's take a look at that one remaining answer. I can't even think what it could be. The fourth answer. Traffic tickets. Before we start another round, let's find out who's on top. All right, Pewters, that's one round in the can. Let's see what awaits us next. Oh, my. Oh, no. Now, let's do the face-off. Someone from each family, get up here and play. Look for all eight answers to this one. Fingers on buzzers, here we go. We took a survey, 100 people. Name something in your kitchen you'd hate to be without. You're up first. Nice. Said with confidence. Let's run with it. Oven, top of the board. So, are you gonna play or pass? They're handing it over. This is your chance. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Okie dokie. Is it up there? Show me. Fridge. All right. Yes. What do you think? Interesting answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Microwave. It's up there. Name something in your kitchen you'd hate to be without. Got it. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Hands. That'll do. Oh. So what's your guess going to be? Uh... All right, let's try it. Time to find out if it's up there. Dishwasher. Yes. Yes. Got an answer for me? Oh. Feeling lucky? Let's see if it's there. Water. Good work. Cool. Two more answers up there. What do you think? Uh... Oh, okay. Is it up there? Coffee pot. You're doing great. Nice. Oh, nice. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. Will this make a clean sweep? Let's find out. Blender. It isn't there. First strike. But you've still got this, I know it. Um, Only one answer left to go. Um, that's a great answer. Are you sure about that? And is that the answer we need? Food. You've oh, cleared yeah. the board. <laughs> You're catching up. 
Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. This is shaping up to be a real blowout, but we've still got plenty of game left to go. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I'm going to need one person from both families to join me up here. We're looking for seven answers this time. Time to take it to the next level with double points. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. If you had a million dollars to spend, what would you blow some of it on? You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Good answer. Okay. Is it on the board? Myself. That's not what we're looking for. Get your feudin' face on. It's your go. If you had a million dollars to spend, what would you blow some of it on? That's a good answer. Got it. Show me that answer. Gadgets. All right. The answer is on the board. So what are you going to do here? Play or pass? That top answer's still out there. Let's see if the rest of the team can find it. It's up to you now. That's what you're going with? Let's take a look. Party. You got it. I need an answer. That's good. Our survey said jewelry. It's nice. there, but it's not top. Oh? If you had a million dollars to spend, what would you blow some of it on? All righty then. Our survey says motorcycle. Nice job, but it's not the number one answer. Uh. Good. Moving along the feud chain. Oh? oh yeah. I see where you're going with this. Is that answer up there? Video games. Uh. Sorry, it wasn't up there. So I'm going to have to give you your first strike. Uh-oh. Do you have an answer? Ah, uh, yes. Our survey said artwork. Other family, I'd be getting ready if I were you. They may look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. That's your answer. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Private Island. And that's your third strike. This round is getting thrown over to the other side. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Nice. We have an answer. Survey said... House. That's what we want. Our leading family are adding some big points to their big bundle. 
Are you ready to see the rest of the answers? The number two answer is... Holiday. I can't believe we couldn't find the top answer. What was it? Car. Let's see how the scores look. Our families have switched places on the scoreboard. It's time for a face-off. I need a contestant from each family, please. We've got five to find for this one. We're upping the ante again. All questions are now worth triple. We asked 100 people the following. Name an animal that might weigh more than 1,000 pounds. You buzzed in first. Good. Sure thing. Did anyone in the survey say this? Cow. Nada. You got anything for us? Name an animal that might weigh more than 1,000 pounds. Answer accepted. Is that answer good enough? Lion! No. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Name an animal that might weigh more than 1,000 pounds. Nice. Could it be there? Elephants. That's at the tippy top of the board. Layer pass. What's it going to be? Guess you want to keep that hot streak going, huh? Let's play then. Guess what? We need an answer. So. That's what you think, huh? What did our survey say? Buffalo. That's gonna put a dent in your game. Whoops. We need another answer from you. Here we go, then. Let's see if it's up there. Jaguar. Another strike. Name an animal that might weigh more than 1,000 pounds. Yep. Let's see if you're right. Shark. Oh, no. Strike three. It's yeah. time for the other team to have a crack at this. All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. Give me an answer. And if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and, uh, well, you know. Good. Okay. Let's see it. Giraffe. That's not it. And you won another one. Let's see what you missed. 
Number five, Rhino. Number four, show yourself. Bear. Number three, please. Hippo. Here comes number two. Whale. And we finally run out of rounds. So what are the final scores? We have a winner. You've done it all by yourself, too. The Kings, you put up a great fight, but you didn't make it today. It's time to go for the big dough in Fast Money. All right, my lonesome lovely, since you didn't bring anyone with you, you're going to have to answer these questions twice. You're going to answer five questions. Give me the best answers you can think of for them. Then we'll do it all over again a second time. If both rounds add up to 200 points, you'll get the jackpot. Okay, start the clock. Name a place where children are warned to sit still. Name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. Name a blood-sucking creature. Name something that has to be changed on a regular basis. Name something a bank robber needs to do his job. We're done. All right. Let's see if you can bring this to the finish line. Time to step it up a gear. You're going to answer them all again, but this time with different answers. Your time begins now. Name a place where children are warned to sit still. Name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. Name a blood-sucking creature. Name something that has to be changed on a regular basis. Name something a bank robber needs to do his job. All right, that's all five of them. Okay, you've done all you can. Let's see how well you did. For starters, we asked, name a place where children are warned to sit still. The answers to this one, how many of our 100 people said these? Yay. The number one answer. For question two, we asked, name an animal at the zoo you would not like to be compared to. Let's remind everyone what you said. And the survey says, ooh, unlucky. So the top answer, monkey. We asked you, Name a blood-sucking creature. And your answers? You ought to be happy with those answers. Yes. Ooh, one's pointed, the other's pointless. The top answer? Mosquito. The next question? Name something that has to be changed on a regular basis. So here's what you said. And our survey said... Just one of those answers scored some points. Clothes. 
That would have been the best answer. For our last question of the game. Name something a bank robber needs to do his job. And here's what you said. And our final survey said... Ah! Oh, it's not enough. No, you did no, great, no. but I can't give you the jackpot this time around. Don't sweat it. You might not have won the big prize, but you've still got a good chunk of change to take home with you. We'll multiply the points you've won and give you the total. This is Lucky McCoy, thanking you oh so much for playing. See you next time. Come on, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch? All right, it's time for another showdown. It's late o'clock. Why sleep when you can feud? And who's your host? It's still just little old me, Lucky McCoy. Please welcome back our families. They triumphed last time, but can they do it again? They're going to bounce back in this game. You know what's going on here. You're trying to find the most popular answer to our surveys. Okay, let's play Family Feud. It's time for another face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. The top four answers are on the board. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. We asked 100 people this question. Name something that's a hassle if you lose it. Whoa, 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 nice buzzing, Tex. Oh, nice. It's worth a shot. Let's check the board. Mind. It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Name something that's a hassle if you lose it. Understood. Show me the answer. Wait. It's not the number one answer, but that'll do it. Are you gonna play or are you gonna pass? They don't wanna play, so it looks like you'll be taking this one on. There's only two answers left on the board. Okay, then. Is it there? Job. Strike one. Two more and you're out. Oof. Do you have an answer for us? Um. Great answer. Okay, sure. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Home. Ouch! Ah. That's your second strike. Ouch. Name something that's a hassle if you lose it. Good answer. Yes. Do we have a right answer? Phone. 
That's three. The other team is in with a chance. It takes just one answer to steal and take home the points. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Said with confidence. Time to check the board. Spouse. No steal. It's a win over here. Let's tidy up the board and show those missing answers. What was the second highest answer? Wallet. What was stuck at the top? Keys. So, where are everybody's scores at? That's only the first round. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Time to go head to head. It's the face off. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. You'll need seven answers. All righty then. Buzz in first to get a shot at the top answer. Let's go. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. You're in first. Oh, nice. Okie dokie. The survey says, break up. Oh, dear. Can you do any better? Let's find out. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. It took me a while, but I finally married Miss Wright. I just didn't know her first name was always. And our survey says... Spouse. Uh, Nothing for that one. The number one answer is still a secret. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. That's a good answer. Interesting answer. Do we have it? Waking up. Nobody said that one. The number one answer is still up there. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. Got it. Did our survey agree? Thirst. That's incorrect. Okay, let's see if we can do better this time. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. Nice. All right, let's try it. I want to see that answer. Babysitting. Uh... Not in this survey. Oh. Your guess, buddy. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. <laughs> Feeling lucky? Did any of our 100 people say it? Headache. You found the top answer. What's it to be, pass or play? They're passing to you. This is your shot. Don't blow it. What do you think? We need another answer. Oh, yeah. oh 
Okay. Let's see if the board's got it. Toothache. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Uh... Yes. All right. And what did our survey say? Money. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Oh. Are you sure about that? Our survey says... Divorce. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Oops. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Uh -huh. Okay, did our survey say it? Ooh, it's another strike. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. Got it. Survey says... Bap. That's three strikes and you're out. Looks like the other family has a chance to steal. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board. You could steal all the points with this answer. That's what you're going with? Let's see if that's a good answer. Cold. You've done it. This round goes to you. But you knew that, didn't you? You left some answers up there. Let's see what they are. Number five was back pain. What was behind number four? Stomach ache. Answer number two, where are you? Heartburn. Let's find out who's in charge. Now we've got a new point leader. No. Are you ready for another face-off? Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. We've got five answers up for grabs. All right, let's sweeten the pot a bit. All the point values for this question have been doubled. We asked 100 people, Name a good pet for people who can't handle much responsibility. You're first. Out of time. Don't take too long to make a guess now. Name a good pet for people who can't handle much responsibility. That's good. Let's see what the survey says. Turtle. Way to go, sport. <laughs> 
That's on the board. What's it gonna be, play or pass? They think just because you're on your own, you won't be able to do this. Let's prove them wrong. You can do it. What do you think? So... Yes! All righty then. Let's run with it. That's not up there, so here is your first strike. Uh-oh. What answer do you have for us this time? Maybe. That's a good answer. I see where you're going with this. Is it up there? Show me. Fish. That's the big moneymaker. Whoop. Name a good pet for people who can't handle uh -huh. much responsibility. Great answer. Ah, uh, yes. Is it up there? Let's hope so. Cat. Our nice. survey says yes. Oh? There's two still remaining. Come. Good answer. That's your answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Hamster. We're ah. nearly there. Yeah. Ooh, this is so exciting. There's just one uncovered answer up there. Nice. We have an answer. Have you found the missing answer? Let's find out. Bird. You found yeah. all the answers. Win this round. All right, it's time for a score update. Holy moly, we've got ourselves a battle here. A new leading family. Oh my. Are you ready for a face off? All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. Top five answers on the board there. Triple points in play now. You better make sure your answers count. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something a bank uses for security against crime. Think you got something? Sure thing. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Alarms. We've got a right answer, but it's not at the top. Time to search your mind for an answer. Yeah. Answer accepted. Time to find out if it's up there. Camera. That, my friend, is the top answer. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. You want to take this one on. Dig deep and think of an answer. Nice. Is that one of the remaining answers? It's not there, which means you get a strike. Whoops. 
Got another answer? That's what you think, huh? Will that be one of the missing answers? Security guard. Nice. Yay. Guess what? We need an answer. Here we go, then. Let's see if it's there. Uh-oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. One more strike, and the other family gets to try for a steal. Yep. Is it up there? Vault. You're still hanging in there. Yes. One more strike and you're in trouble. Oh. Good, okay. Is it on the board? Guns. Oh, Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. We Ooh, could be about yeah. to witness a steal. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, the round is yours. Find a good answer, and you'll get all the points. It's worth a shot. Show me that answer. Metal detector. They couldn't do it. It's another win for this family. There's only one answer left over. Please reveal number four. Bulletproof glass. It's time to find out who's won the game. You're our big winner. Who needs a family to win this game? You're going on to fast money. Looks like we'll have to say goodbye to the kings. And I hate goodbyes. Buckle up for some big bucks. It's time to play Fast Money. Since you're playing alone, you'll be answering twice. Be easy for you, Geminis. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need you to give me the most popular answers. You'll do it once, then we'll come back around and do it again since you're all on your own. Get more than 200 points, and you're taking home the jackpot. Clock's all set, let's go. Name something you buy that's meant to be stepped on. Name something specific that has a long neck. Name something every good couch potato needs. Name something in a hospital a patient hopes is extra clean. Name a job that we need more people to do.
That's time. Okay, we're gonna go again. Same questions. Now it gets a bit tricky. You've got to do it all again with brand new answers. Okay, let's start the clock. Name something you buy that's meant to be stepped on. Name something specific that has a long neck. Name something every good couch potato needs. Name something in a hospital a patient hopes is extra clean. Name a job that we need more people to do. That's everything. That's it. There's nothing more we can do now. Okay, let's find out how you did. First up, we asked, Name something you buy that's meant to be stepped on. You said... Two impressive answers here. We found the most popular one. Next, we wanted to know... Name something specific that has a long neck. You said... Let's see what the survey says. Yeah. Nice work. That's a top answer. For the next question, we asked... Name something every good couch potato needs. The answers you gave... How many points are these answers worth? A good answer and a not-so-good answer. Remote control! That was the top answer! For this question, we asked... Name something in a hospital a patient hopes is extra clean. Here are your answers. I think we might be good on this one. Ooh. That's 200 points. Way to go. You didn't just win. You won big. Let's quickly see how the rest of your answers shaped up. That jackpot is all yours. $20,000 in your pocket. All right, folks, we'll see you next time for more Feud. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Want to give this another go?